Hello everybody, I am Jedi Jack Penguin and welcome back to another LEGO Disney Pixar review. So today we're going to be looking at a set from Toy Story, that being set number 7590, Woody and Buzz to the rescue. This set includes 92 pieces and originally retailed for $19.99 when it released on January 1st of 2010. Now I believe I got this early at Toys R Us. I know that this was my very first set for the Toy Story theme that I ever got. I remember back in the day seeing the advertisements in the Lego Club magazine and, and even seeing a few leaks of what these sets were supposed to look like on the internet. Unfortunately, I don't have any of those saved on my computer anymore, so I won't be able to show those on screen now but needless to say lego toy story was just something really really interesting so many brand new molds introduced to create the characters of this theme and even lots of really cool prints as you'll see in this set for 20 dollars there isn't a lot of pieces in here but there is quite a lot of value so first thing i want to talk about box art here we have this blue style for the box art which is something that you'd see in the very start of the toy story theme later on sets like this would get rebranded with more of like a white color scheme maybe to match the toy story 3 box art i'm not exactly sure but later on in the production of a lot of the earlier sets you'd start to see the box art change a little bit you can tell this is from the very start of the production again because you get the blue sky background that you'd see in andy's bedroom also get a really nice sort of street layout for your build there shows off one of the functions get both buzz and woody and your logos and such disney logo up at the top from the back side you get a few more of your features for this set and back in the day this set did have some tape quick peek at the instructions i believe when you got this set back in the day you wouldn't get any numbered bags you mimic the front of the box win kid from the back lego club advertisement piece count and a quick advertisement featuring some of the other sets in this wave which i own all of these except for the zerg and the woody's roundup i got very very close to getting that for 20 dollars the other week but unfortunately someone beat me to it i think this may be one of the few white whale sets left out there other than the imperial shuttle from 2010 that i'd really like to get in my collection someday Buzz Lightyear having seen better days as you can tell by the printing on his under the neck accessory. I really do gotta get a new Buzz sometime because this one is really really fading. Whatever they did on some of the future versions we both have the CMF variant there which is probably my favorite just because of the side arm and leg printing. And even the one that we saw within the 4 plus sets those still look really nice as far as the printing style on the torso but needless to say lego made a brand new mold for that they made a brand new mold for his head they also made a brand new mold for the little visor up at top so you can also remove that from the rest of the ensemble you get three holes from the back in order to attach that clear piece additionally from the back side you can see that we get a stud which helps you to attach one of the accessories included which is the big one we get this giant firework, which we'll take a closer look at momentarily. But we also happen to get the wings from the very back. And one really cool thing about these is the fact that you can easily remove them from the entire situation if you want to have Buzz have his wings inside his pack there. I think that's really great, so you can display him both ways, whichever way you want. I'm also going to remove the headpiece so you can take a better look at the torso printing where we get that Star Command logo nice and big yet again you can also just see the rest of his buildup. only the printing from the front of the legs no side leg and arm printing like you'll see on future versions of buzz and you also get some back printing which is a nice touch backing up a little bit to get woody all in frame this character includes quite a few brand new molds for the time period for the legs those longer style arms and also that head hat hair combo there which i think is probably the best that we've ever seen for woody comparing him to the one that we saw 
back in 2019. I don't really think these shorter figs do it for me. I definitely prefer these molded head styles just because it feels right to me. I don't know, growing up with the Clone Wars style eyes, it's just something that I got used to after a while in terms of just their designs and everything. So this is how I envision Lego Woody in my eyes. Perfect, perfect face right there. I just love how it turned out. And we'll just spin him right around so you can see the back printing with his pull string. And also just how longer these legs are compared to your standard minifigure legs there. Would have been cool to see some dual molding on these for the boots at the bottom, but LEGO did what they could do there, and the printing works fine, and the printing for the belt, and also for the little sheriff's badge right there. I think this figure turned out amazing. Definitely one of the standouts. Great to get both of these main characters together within a cheap $20 set at the time. Now alongside our two minifigures of Buzz and Woody, we also happen to get a build for the RC car, as well as the Big One rocket, which works with Buzz Lightyear. Now in order to attach the Big One to Buzz Lightyear, you get the stud from the back of the under the neck accessory, and you can pop it on like such. Only complaint is the fact that this does go spinning very, very fast based on the Technic connection. I do appreciate, though, that brand new print on that R2-D2 body piece. And you just get the blue and the red color scheme. Works fine, in my opinion. And you can just have Buzz launch off with the rocket that Sid tied to his back. Now on to the RC car. We did actually see this appear again in 2019, though a more juniorized version of it. Both of which actually feature some exclusive prints. You get two exclusive prints here, one from the very back and one from the front, and also for the eyes, I guess. But here, we get not only a few brand new prints for the sides here for these slope pieces and the very back of the car, but we also get quite a few brand new recolors in this set, like for the frying pan piece, which holds in the eyes. I believe also this piece from the very back, which is the main base, of this entire build in blue is exclusive to this set to this day. If you don't know what this is, this is part of a pullback function. I believe this was introduced in like the LEGO racer sets. So when you pull back this car and you let go, it'll go. I'm going to pull it back a little bit more just so then we can see how much momentum this thing gets. Gotta be careful when making it attack those walls there. You can also see we get a little antenna over here. I guess that's for the controller, which is non-existent in the set. You also get that hinge plate from the back, just for the angling of that back part. Again, really great design. Love how it turned out. Only thing I do have to say though, compared to that 2019 version, is the fact that this one is probably closer to actual scale. I think, and this one may be just a tad oversized. So overall, for $20 back in the day, you get both of your main characters from Toy Story and a pretty decent build that I think is really fun. I love the pullback feature. I think kids would have really enjoyed that at the time. I also do appreciate getting a lot more prints than, say, stickers in this set, and the amount of brand new prints and molds and stuff that we got from LEGO Toy Story is amazing. I wish that LEGO would go back and start doing stuff like that again. If only the Toy Story 4 sets we got back in 2019 were not 4 plus and had these style figures, I think I probably would have bought the whole wave right on. So yeah, that's all that I have to say for this video. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below what your thoughts are on this set. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you know every time I upload a new video. So yeah, that's it for now and I will see you next time. Bye!